Okay, so to make that grooved pattern, what we're going to start with is a lofted surface, which will go from this helix over to the central axis, which I made in a sketch. Um, for some reason, there are four sketch 17s, so I'm not sure why, but they're all the same. Now, we'll go onto the sketch menu, and we'll go under Convert Entities and Intersection Curve. You have to sometimes select it a second time for it to work. Now, we'll go and we'll intersect these three faces. Accept, accept, and now we have a 3D sketch with the profile that we want to sweep. All right, accept this sketch. Features, now we're gonna to go to a swept cut, and it's already pre-selected our sketch for us. we we'll use a circular profile, which will have a diameter of half of a millimeter. That's what I used, you can kind of use whatever you want. And now I'll go ahead and I'll take the mirror, this, and I'll mirror the sweep feature um, over really kind of any axis here will work all right. Um, and now we'll have a second cut there. And I'll go ahead and hide this loft so we can see what's going on a little easier. And now finally, we just want to add a circular pattern, which will be patterning around a center axis here. I'll use that same sketch. And for the features and faces, I'm going to select both of these. So, um, and I'm going to go ahead and choose four instances, equal spacing, which will make them go all the way around. And now when we accept, um, it'll take a little moment for SolidWorks to calculate this. It's a lot of sweeping around to do. Okay, and there we go. Alrighty, so that's how I made this model here.